everyone. Welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Stephen. I'm Anthony. Today's day is November twentieth. We're continuing with day two of the dialogue between Nick and Valerie. 没错，我们今天要继续去看十一月二十号，也就是请各位翻到杂志的四十二页。我们要继续去讲，呃 ，Valerie 昨天呢接完机之后，好，这个帮帮 Nick 已经做好了入住手续，好好好睡过一觉之后，后面的这个对话内容。Valerie is waiting for Nick in the hotel lobby before they head to a work meeting, which means go to a work meeting. She briefs him on the day's agenda. Brief means to tell him information about in a quick way, and agenda is a schedule of things that need to be talked about in a meeting. 没错，所以在这个地方呢，我们来看一下哈。所以这里面的话，在副标题里面你可以看到 ，Valerie is waiting for Nick in the hotel lobby. 好，在这个外面已经在等他了嘛？不是约好早上十点半要来接他吗 ？Before they head to a work work meeting， 好吧，准备要去工作会议之前呢，啊，在这边接他。She briefs him. 老师刚刚有提到 ，brief 的话就是 tell someone. And some information about something, 就是去做简报，而且是非常非常快速的告诉你今天的这个要做的事情。On the day's agenda, what is agenda? Agenda 就是在会议里头你要去处理的讨论的这个议程，好，要讨论这些事项，我们叫做 agenda。所以这边的话就跟他讲说，我们今天要的行程是什么？好，要做些什么事情，讨论什么内容。Let's get started. So Nick starts this conversation. He says, "Good morning." And usually, we have a lot of energy when we say that.、Mm. Good morning. Sorry for keeping you waiting. All right. So here we see "sorry for." So usually, when you do something, you want to be sorry for it. We usually use the preposition for. So sorry for、uh, stepping on your foot. Okay.、Mm. All right. We can also say here, "Sorry to keep you waiting." We can change it to "to." T O, but if you change it to two, the verb after that cannot be I N G. It has to be the original present tense. 没错，在这个地方他就说了，哎，早啊，好，那是那种非常非常呃元气满满的这种早安。然后接下来讲说 ，Sorry for keeping you waiting. 老师刚刚特别提到了 ，Sorry 后面可以接两种，一个可以接 for， 比方说今天老师踩到了我的脚，<笑>然后呢，我就说啊，抱歉，抱歉，踩你的脚，其实他是故意的。<笑><笑>所以呢，如果说今天你不用这个 Sorry。For doing something, 接 v i n g 的话，你也可以说 sorry to do something， 意思就是你可以说 sorry to keep you waiting， 也是很好的说法哦。Or sorry to step on your foot, right? 对，没错，不要再踩了。<笑><笑> All right. So in American culture, a lot of times, even if we're not late, if the person is there before you, we will say this just to be polite. 哦、oh, ，这样子啊，所以很多时候明明约十点半了，因为他十点二十五分就出现在那个地方了。即便你也没迟到，还是会习惯讲说：“哦，你比我早到了。”哎，不好意思，让你等了呢。哦、mm-hmm. ，还是会简单的会说一下来表达礼貌。All right, so Valerie says, "Oh, not at all, not at all. This is a very nice way to be like, really, it's no problem. I didn't wait that long. I just got here. So the just means I only just got here." Maybe just got there two minutes before Nick arrived. All right? Did you sleep well? So pay attention here. Well is an adverb, so it needs to be because it's asking, did you sleep well? A lot of times, even people in America, we will say, did you sleep good? Okay,、mm. but good is an adjective. It's not supposed to be、uh, describing how you slept. This verb, okay, so that's something to pay attention to. 没错，所以在这个地方呢，啊 ，Valerie 讲说不会啦，不会啦，好，我们会讲 not at all， 不会。所以在这里的话，你可以用这种方式表达不会，不会，我才刚到而已，没多久，没有等多久，你不用担心，不要有负担。Did you sleep well? 老师刚刚特别提到了 sleep 这个词是动词，所以后面会搭配 well。副词来表达这个 sleep， 你睡得好不好啊？所以一到这个饭店里头，见了面之后，马上这个 Valerie 就去关心一下，说，哎，那你昨天晚上睡得好不好啊？我觉得是很贴心的一个举动。Mm-hmm. And then, if Valerie was a little bit angry, maybe she was waiting like an hour.、Mm. If she was angry but she still wanted to be polite, she would say, "It's fine." Oh wow! 就是你上次<笑>没有啦。基本上你就是讲到说，如果说今天好像真的等了很久，然后呢，他可能不会说不会不会，他想说哦还好了没事。他其实可能表情就不会很好看，但是语气上面还会说 It's fine. Oh, it's fine. 所以当你以后听到让你让你的外国朋友等很久了，当他说 It's fine， 其实不是真的没事， mm. 他只是不想对你发飙而已。Yes. Okay.、Mm. And the next is to answer, Did you sleep well? Really well. So he had a really good night's sleep. Okay. I'm ready for our meeting today. So the preposition for after saying I'm ready is for. I'm ready for anything. 
。嗯，没错，在这里话也提到说 ，really well， 睡得真的很好哎。I'm ready for our meeting today。当你说 be ready for 后面接东西，好 ，ready 的话常常会用 for 这个介系词来表达，然后后面再接呃准备好要做什么事情。All right, Valerie says, "Great. Today you'll meet the head of our company, Kelly. So who's the head of a company? Think about the body, right? The head is in the very top.、Mm. So the head is the boss or the CEO." 没错，所以在这里的话 ，Great. Today you'll meet the head of our company. 当你讲到头，哎，我们很常会讲说啊，你要见到我们老板，见我们的头头啊，这个就是很常的提到 the the head of our company. 很多时候呢，在这个地方他说。我要跟你讲说，我们今天要做行程，就是在做 she 怎么样 brief him on the day's agenda。我们今天要做事情事情有哪些呢？第一个要见到我们的老板，那老板是 Kelly。Mm -hmm. We'll have our meeting for the business proposals, and then we'll take a break for lunch. So here we see we will have our meeting. What kind of meeting? For the business proposals, a proposal is a suggestion in business. You know,、mm. if maybe I'm trying to sell you something, I need to give you a proposal first to let you know what that is about. 没错，所以这里的话最重要的词汇就是 proposals. Proposal 的意思呢，常常翻译成企划案。很多时候，如果在商务场景的话，这种企划案啦，好 business proposal 商务企划案，很多时候有机会你在不同的场景会看到 proposal 可以是指跟这个你的男朋友、女朋友求婚，也可以用 proposal 这个词来表达哦。这种用法很多，但基本上就是一个 suggestion 啊，就是老师刚刚所讲到的这个建议，好，希望我们可以怎么做，或者希望说，哎，你要不要嫁给我啦？之类的这种说法也可以当做 proposal，、right. 所以他说 ，We will have our meeting for the business proposals。我们呢今天开会的内容就是要讨论这个商务的企划案 ，and then we'll take a break for lunch。然后之后我们就休息吃午餐。Right, so that then means after that. Okay, so that's a way that we can use that. And then, okay, take a break when you're taking a break. That the verb to go with break is take. So just pay attention to that as well. All right. So then Nick says, "Sounds good." Okay, that means okay. That's that's great. Let's do that. Let's head out. So, like I mentioned before, head out means to go, to leave. 没错，所以接下来就说，哎，这样听起来不错哦。Nick 讲说，嗯，很好。上我们是上次有不是提到那个 Great, that sounds good. 他就讲说 ，sounds good. 有的时候呢，你可以讲 That sounds good. It sounds good. 但是那个 it 主词没有，他讲 Sounds good. Sounds, good. sounds great.、Mm -hmm. 哎，很常使用。好 ，Let's head out. 那我们就上路吧。我们开始行动吧。Let's head out. So Valerie and Nick arrive at the company headquarters. Headquarters means the main office. Maybe there are a lot of different branches. B R A N C H, plural form at E S. 没错，在这里的话 ，headquarters 要特别注意的事情是，你看到它加了 s， 对不对？可事实上，它这个单数也是 headquarters，、嗯嗯、所以很多时候不是说有好几个总部哦，而是我们去总部，它有时候写成 HQ，、嗯、那它也是念成 headquarters， 所以这个地方这个字是单复数同形的。老师刚刚额外讲的事情是，既然有总部的话，你可以想到说它不只是一家公司，嗯嗯、一定有其他的分公司。嗯、这种分公司的话，就是老师刚刚所讲的 branches， 就是 branch。B R A N C H. 如果要变成复数的话 ，branches 的话要加 e s， 这样的说法就 OK 了。所以相对于 headquarters， 我们有不同的 branches 分公司。所以在这个地方，他们就是跑到了他们的总部去了。Valerie says it looks like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else, which means that everyone else might be either late or maybe that Valerie and Nick are super early. Yeah, 没错，他这个这这个地方 ，Valerie 讲说，哎，不好意思呢。Uh, it looks like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. We're almost like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. Pause when we're saying it. The only reason why we need those commas is any time there's a name that's introduced in the middle of a sentence and it's not the subject, we usually have to use a comma to separate it from the sentence. Oh, so in this place, if you put the name of the sentence in the middle of the sentence, we need to make sure that our CEO, the teacher, just helped me to spell the CEO's name correctly. It's called Chief Executive 
officer， 啊 ，chief executive officer， 我们常常翻译成执行长。我们可以请老师帮我们拼一下 executive 这个字吗 ？OK，executive、okay. is e x e c u t i v e，executive。嗯，很多时候这个常常翻译成主管的意思，所以 chief executive 就是主管里面的头，那就是执行长 chief executive officer。所以在这个地方呢，他就跟他讲说，哎，我们好像比大家都早到，哎，等到我们执行长 Kelly 到了之后，我会帮你跟他就是介绍一下，让你们互相认识。So when we say introduce, the preposition after that that you need to use is to. So I can't be like I'll introduce you, CEO officer. No, you have to say introduce you to. Our CEO officer, okay? 没错，所以 introduce someone to someone else 这个介系词我们会用 to 来表达哦。All right, so Nick he says I'm looking forward to meeting her, which means he's excited to do this thing. Looking forward to do something. 没错，在这个地方特别小心的是 ，I'm looking forward to 这个 to 的话，可能是因为介系词的关系，后面会用 meeting her， 呃，不能说呃、uh, ，I'm looking forward to meet someone。这个地方的话 ，to 比较特别 ，I'm looking forward to 很期待。比方说，很多时候会听到说 ，I'm looking forward to seeing you，、mm -hmm. 或者是说 ，I'm looking forward to that our meeting next time。好，所以在这后面的话 ，to 后面会接名词，或者是接 v i n g 的这种形态，这个要特别注意一下。Let's take a short break. All right, let's pick up where we left off. So here, Valerie says, "Meanwhile," which means at the same time, you know, like we were just having a conversation about meeting the new CEO. Meanwhile, tell me how you are finding Taipei so far. So here, finding it's not really like looking for.、Mm. You find something pretty, that means you think it is pretty. So it's another way to say like, what do you think? Of something, what do you? How do you find Taipei? So, what do you think of Taipei? And also, here a lot of people might be confused when you have a question word like how. A lot of people would think you would say, "How are you finding Taipei so far?" Well, if it was a question, yes, it would be "How are you?" Where the verb would be in front of the subject, but here the subject you is in front of are, right? Because the actual subject of the sentence tell me, right? Right. So. How are you finding Taipei so far? So it's not a question word.、Mm -hmm. So you have to pay attention to that. 没有错，老师他最开头他提到这个很重要的一个说法，你也会常常听到。Let's pick up where we left off. 好，这意思就是指呢，我们继续接上我们上次还没讲完的话题。好，这个地方的话，你常常以后在国外啊上教授的课的时候，你常常会听到这句说法。好，就讲说了，我们接下来继续往下讲。他说 ，Meanwhile， 然后你就讲说 ，Tell me how you are finding Taipei so far。第二个重点呢，就会是 find。如果呢 ，find someone attractive， 好，就是觉得这个人如何。所以这个地方不是要去找东西。而是你觉得台北目前为止感觉上你的印象是什么？觉得怎么样？喜不喜欢这里啊？这个说法。第三个重点呢，就会是 how you are finding。你会注意到这个 you 跟 are 的这个顺序。他说，哎，如果问人家说 how are you， 或是 who are you， 你会这样 who are you？ 可是这个地方，如果你讲 tell me。我们就不会讲 Tell me who are you， 你会讲 Tell me who you are。所以在 Tell me 的后面，如果是名词子句的时候，要特别注意主词跟它后面 be 动词的位置。所以这个地方 Tell me 后面是一件事情 ，how 带头的这个名词子句，我们就讲 How you are finding Taipei so far。这个地方要特别注意哦。All right. So Nick answers because Valerie, the last thing she said is so far, which means from when you came, when you first arrived until now, she says so far. So Nick replies, so far, so good. So so far, so good. I'm very comfortable at the hotel you arranged for me, and you've been really helpful. 然后 ，OK， 在这个地方他讲到说了，哎，一切啊，到目前为止都很好啊。然后你帮我安排这个 hotel 呢，我非常非常喜欢，住得很舒服。然后 ，and you've been really helpful 啊，你真的帮了我很多的忙。Mm. So here, pay attention to feeling comfortable somewhere. Usually, the preposition we have is feeling comfortable at a place and not in a place. So that's something that you have to pay attention to.、It、might not really make sense in、mm -hmm. like a Chinese grammatical uh, uh, way, but in English we would say, "I feel comfortable at the hotel." And arrange this verb. It means to organize or make plans for someone. 没错，所以这里的话 ，arrange 是安排的意思。你也可以说 make plans for someone or for something。很多时候的话 ，arrange 这个字也会常常用到安排事物。
Okay, and you've been really helpful means like ever since I came here, like until now, you've been really helpful. That's why they use this tense of the verb. 没错，在这里的话 ，you been 就是从我们刚开始来接机啦，一路以来，好，一直都怎么样怎么样。我们可以这个地方使用现在完成式，代表从他下飞机之后碰了面，一路到现在，一直以来你都帮了我很多的忙。Right, Valerie says, I'm glad to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. Well, while we wait for Kelly and the board members to arrive, feel free to find a seat in the conference room and help yourself to the snacks at the back. Wow, it looks like a really long sentence. But if we break it apart one by one, it won't be that hard to understand. Okay, so next, he, 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 In a conference room, 不妨我们在会议室呢，就随便找一个哎觉得舒服的位置坐下来 ，and help yourself to the snacks at the back. 后面呢有很多的一些小小点心哦，你可以随时自己动手吃。好，在这里的话，让自己轻松一点，等他们来就好了。Right, and when she says "well," that's a really good way to start like a new subject in a conversation. Like "well,"、uh, da, like you talk whatever you say after that is changing the subject, so it's a good word to change the subject. Board members are people who make decisions in the company. Okay, you could just call them the board, but you're just emphasizing that there are people. There are a lot of different people in that board. So the board members. 没错，所以这里的话 ，well， 老师刚刚特别提到 ，well 的话是一个很好用的发语词，用来转换你的话题 ，change the topic or change the subject。好，就是转换话题。他说，哎，在我们在等 Kelly 还有这个 board members 的的时候，董事会成员，你也可以像老师刚刚所讲的说 ，the board 就代表董事会。只是在这边要强调说，哦，这些人们，董事会的成员们，可能来了有好几个人嘛，所以这里的话他说 board members， 这是很好的一个表达用语。Right, so here in English we say help yourself a lot. We don't mean like save yourself. We just mean if there's like you know food or snacks, just go eat whatever you want. Don't be shy. 没错，所以说当你今天的话自己请自便，请自取哦，有很多吃的，你会说 help yourself. 那如果说后面要接吃些什么的话 ，you can say help so help help yourself. To the snacks at the back. 在后面有很多的一些茶点呐、啊，等等。有的时候你还会听到 refreshments.、Mm. Refreshments 这个字的这种使用方法，它的拼法是 r e re fresh f r e s h， 然后再加 m e n t refreshment， 然后再加 s， 都是很多备有的小点心、茶点等等，供你享用。All right, and then she says we should be getting started in about fifteen minutes. So if we said we should be getting started in fifteen minutes, we know for sure it's starting in fifteen minutes. But we're adding about because we're not really sure. Maybe it might be twenty minutes or eighteen minutes. So in about fifteen minutes. 没错，所以这里的话就告诉你说，我们大概在过十五分钟之后就开始。如果没有这个 about 的话，就是我们十五分钟开始，好就不会多不会少。可是现在还不确定大家到的时间怎么样，差不多十五分钟你会加一个 about。Okay. After the meeting, Valerie talks with Nick over lunch. So Valerie here, she says, "So Nick, how are you feeling about doing business with our company in the future?" Okay. So 接下来呢，你就看到了，他们在开完会了之后呢，他们在吃午餐嘛，在午餐的期间呢，他们还是一起吃饭。Valerie 就问他说了，哎，所以呢，尼克。好 ，How are you feeling about doing business with our company in the future? 那你觉得跟我们未来我们公司合作，你的感觉，你的前景，你觉得怎么样？ Right, so Nick says, "I'm feeling very confident about it," which means, yeah, it feels like he wants to do this business. Of course, I'll be taking your proposals back to discuss with my boss, but I'm sure that he'll like what he sees. Okay, so 接下来就讲啦。哦，我觉得我对我们的未来的合作很有信心哦。I'm very confident. I'm I'm feeling very confident about it. 好，在这边还讲到说 ，I'll be taking your proposals. Proposals. 我把这个计划案呢带回去给我老板过目审查，跟他讨论。And I'm sure that he 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 will like what he sees. 他相信他看了之后也会很喜欢这样的计划案的。All right. So when I see something I like, I like. Oh, I like what I see. So that's just a way that we say that in English. Valerie then says, "Well, we will be in touch about everything. So that means we'll be in contact." 嗯，没错，所以这一点还说 ，Well, we'll be in touch about everything. 我们我们很多的细节，我们都还会保持联系的，这没有问题。Okay, Nick then says, "Thanks for all you did for me during my stay." So stay here is a noun, which means this whole time he's been in this city. 
I'm looking forward to following up soon, which means he's looking forward to telling her some good news that maybe his boss is going to take the proposal. 没错，所以这里的话 ，Nick 就讲说了 ，Thanks for all you did for me. 谢谢你为我在这个短暂的停留的时间所做的一切一切事情来接我啦，然后陪我啊，告诉我说今天要做些什么等，好多好多的细节，很感谢。好，在这里的话，第一句话是讲这样 ，I'm looking forward to 来了，又出现了，我很期待，忘记了吗？有没有记得 ？Look forward to doing something or look forward to 后面可以接名词 or。Our next meeting, 等等都可以。在这里的话 ，following up soon 就是要告诉你后续的这个消息。就像老师刚刚所讲的，很有可能他告诉你一些好消息，说，哎，我的老板非常非常喜欢。我们要继续去讲很多的细节，甚至要合作下一个企划案等等。Let's go into the review section. Right here's the review section. So when I say I'm gonna head out or I'm gonna head to somewhere, what does that mean? 就是要去那个地方 All right, and then when I'm giving you a briefing or I'm briefing you about a meeting, what does briefing mean? 嗯，就是跟你做一个简报，告诉你接下来我们要做什么 All right, when I'm looking forward to doing something, what does that mean? 哦，我好期待做些什么事情啊！记得这个 to 是介系词，后面要接 v i n g 或名词哦 So it's your first time in Taipei. I might ask you, how do you find Taipei? 哎，这个地方 find 不是在讲要发现，而是在讲说。你觉得台北的感觉如何 ？All right. So the CEO, the chief executive officer, might be part of a member, a group, right? It's called the board. So who are the board members of a business? 就是董事会成员的意思，好，非常非常重要的那些大头们。Right, if there's a lot of food on the table, I might say, "Hey, help yourself." What does that mean? 嗯，就是呢，来，请自己取用哦，想吃多少吃多少哦。Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my boss, and I'll follow up with you soon. What does follow up mean? 意思就是呢，刚才告诉你后续的消息，看我老老板怎么说。All right, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye. Picking up a client. Valerie is waiting for Nick in the hotel lobby before they head to a work meeting. She briefs him on the day's agenda. Dialogue B. Good morning. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Not at all. I just got here. Did you sleep well? Really well. I'm ready for our meeting today. Great. Today you'll meet the head of our company, Kelly. We'll have our meeting for the business proposals, and then we'll take a break for lunch. Sounds good. Let's head out. Like we've arrived much earlier than everyone else. I'll introduce you to our CEO Kelly when she arrives. I'm looking forward to meeting her. Meanwhile, tell me how you're finding Taipei so far. So far, so good. I'm very comfortable at the hotel you arranged for me, and you've been really helpful. I'm glad to hear that. Well, while we wait for Kelly and the board members to arrive, feel free to find a seat in the conference room and help yourself to the snacks at the back. We should be getting started in about fifteen minutes. So, Nick, how are you feeling about doing business with our company in the future? I'm feeling very confident about it. Of course, I'll be taking your proposals back to discuss with my boss, but I'm sure that he'll like what he sees. Well, we will be in touch about everything. Thanks for all you did for me during my stay. I'm looking forward to following up soon. <laughs>